Hello Pickle, everyone here. Today is another episode here in Oxygen Not Included with the Frosty Planner Pack DLC. As always, if you play this in the top right corner, then I'll get you caught up on any past and future episodes. Today, I want to come up here and deal with this cold steam or the cool steam vent here. We're also, if we have extra time, we're going to be dealing with maybe demolishing some biomes. I would also like to come down here and see a little bit more about what this geovent stuff is. So we have a full plate today. I also have some things going on on the second planetoid where we're going to be continuing working on the cooling from previous episodes to help cool down the oil biome down here because I want to get access to oil but I don't have Atmo suits yet. So I thought that was a pretty, way to, pretty nice way to deal with it. We also might deal with some base improvements because we're using we're still using outhouses right now and that's not very good. But for right now, I think I will see you in five cycles where we have some things going on. Alright, we're back with the beginnings of a steam vent tamer on cycle 205. This design is made by Francis John, and just like the Hydrogen Vent Tamer from a couple episodes ago, I will have his link to his video down in the description if you want to try and replicate this. This is using a cooling box. We have the Aqua Tuner here, the cooling box is going to be here, and then it's going to go into here and cool down the water. Uh, there's some designs out there that heat the water and then they uh, take it out using a steam turbine. There are others that... Um, I saw one where you just have it in a big pool of water, and I think it's a bug that they use, but I decided to go this one. I know it'll work, probably. So, and that's what we have for now. In other words, we also finished the pipeline that goes all the way down to the anti-empathy thermonullifier. That is starting to get online because we have some hydrogen in here. Somehow oxygen snuck in, but I mean it works still, so I'm not going to take it out. Um, and we're starting to fill here if I hit this and then go to here We're starting to fill the cooling loop as well. So oxygen is go or hydrogen is going around to the other planet here Oh, no, no, no close that go to the other planet. It's going to the other planet as well We kind of have some gaps, but it's going so we have it going up and then over and then eventually we'll have this done at some point, but we just need to have the, the back and forth, but we're doing good. We're doing fine. Everything's fine. And I think that's it. Um, the only other thing is that I um, drug some hydrogen from over here as well, so now we are actually out of power. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Um, it should be fine. It should be fine. This erupts in a couple seconds anyways. But for right now, I think that's everything, so I will pass you off to another five cycles. Alright, we're back with cycle 210 with some less progress than I was expecting. Um, for some reason this is going slower than I would like it to. Um, I'm guessing it's all these temperature shift plates that are taking a little bit. But if as soon as we're done building all of these, it doesn't start speeding up, I'm going to be a little bit concerned. We do have a couple different things going on. Like I was refining some metal. I was up here building a pipeline a little bit. Um, I didn't really do too much else, but it's odd that this isn't getting done. So I might have to take a look at priorities or just anything. Um, but we were doing a lot over on the other planetoid where our cooling box is working as it should be. We have both sides full of hydrogen and we're starting to cool the oil biome. Not too much, but it's enough that the gas can carry it and cool it to the point where we can go in without Atmos suits. We're eventually going to make an entire spike of cooling that goes all the way down and all the way back up. It will work. Probably. It'll work enough so that way we can get in here and get lead and get oil and stuff. Not expecting it to work as soon as we get um, oil oil uh, generators or whatever they are. Or start building stuff up and industrializing. It probably won't work as good. But for right now, it's working just as good as it needs to. So for right now, I think we're doing pretty good. And it's cycle 2 to 211 now. But... Either way, I will see you in another five cycles. 
All right, and we are back with cycle 216 with a re-recording because apparently my computer decided not to save a recording. But I will still explain what we're doing as best as I can. From my memory, this is when we started to make progress because me, uh, my little temp shift plates over here finally finished getting built. So we started building all the insulated tiles and all of everything and all these pipes were accelerating a bunch of progress and um, I don't think too much else happened unless yeah we're extending our cooling loop down here we have the cooling going down and back up we've already extended it from he I think it was like right around here to down further and now we're cooling it down to here so that's what's going on over here. That's what's going on over here. Um, I don't think too much else is happening. We're just going to finish this in, in the coming cycles. But for right now, I will pass you off to another five cycles. All right. And we're back with cycle 220 with a more completed tamer. It's, it's getting close. It's almost done. We just need to put in some um, fluid over here. I'll probably put in ethanol. Um, over here, we're gonna put in two different kinds of water to shove the hydrogen out. I'm trying to get all this mercury and all this other stuff out of here because it's becoming a problem. If the shine bug wants to stay in, it can. Um, and then over on the other planetoid, come on, other planetoid. We have this, air cooling loop goes all the way down and all the way back up. And it's starting to cool this substantially. Well, by my standards at least. It's cooling it down to safe temperature so we can go down here if we want. But we'll have to extend this in, probably in this direction and this direction and even further down until we can get it completely safe. But once we do, that will be a beautiful time to come down here and just absolutely demolish everything. Then, once we have everything demolished, we can come in and get our sulfur geyser, which we need to deal with. So, I think that's everything. So, I will pass you off to the last five cycles. Alright, and we're back with cycle 225 with a mostly completed cool steam vent tamer. Um, what happened was this filling the liquids in took a lot of time and building the, and then of course building this I put a temperature shift plate in here just a lot of things took a long time so we don't have it fully completed but it's basically completed I literally just need to seal it up um, I literally need to build tile there tile there tile there tile there that is it but other than that we have it completed and next episode it will it'll be perfect just build those four tiles and it is done final completed but for today finishing this pipeline building this entire thing going down here finishing this going to the other planetoid which only has two people doing this entire cooling loop finishing this box off like we did a lot this episode and i'm quite proud of it so i think that's everything for today so just like at the start of the episode i have a playlist in the top right corner that'll get you caught up on any past and future episodes i also have that same playlist along with the seed down in the description since i did use someone else's design today i also have francis john's video down in the description as well and i think that's everything so I hope you have enjoyed, and bye bye